Hello, Mayday family. How are you doing today? For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is May. I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and get started. Today, I want to talk about Kylie Jenner. And I want to talk about Kylie Jenner because I think that a lot of people have this impression of Kylie Jenner that she's a, a, a good person or she's like nice to everyone and that is because of the narrative that they put out there for us to consume as consumers so a lot of marketing that they put out there to make kylie have this image of being a nice person now recently it has come to the light and come to our attention that kylie jenner is most likely not such a nice person person. So Kylie Jenner most recently has been facing some criticism in regards to some very, very critical allegations that are being made about her and about her character. And so if you want to learn a little bit more about what's going on, definitely make sure to stick around through the rest of this video to find out more. Now, Wendy Williams is one of the people that actually covered this story most recently. I went ahead and looked into it a little bit more and what I found was so interesting. So, so interesting and so unexpected. It's not something that I expected to find. So before we get into that, let's take a look at what Wendy Williams had to say about this particular situation. Look, look, look. Former employees claim they were instructed not to talk with Kylie or take pictures with her or look at her. Uh, and she also never spoke to the staff. On one hand, oh wow. On the other hand, she's not there to do all that. She's there to put on a hazmat suit, her hair in a bun, smell, back, forth, back, forth. And whoever is running the plant for that particular day, whoever the manager is, um, should be then reprimanded you know, with the workers coming out saying they want to lean into her while she's trying to smell, smell and Something could have been arranged though. You know, the factory supervisor, this is your fault. You could have had a lunchtime signing with Kylie or something like that, or maybe uh, Kylie could have signed a whole bunch of other pictures ahead of time. You could have just given them to the worker. This is your fault. Kylie Jenner has workers that work for her and her own workers are calling her out on the fact that they are basically instructed to not even look at Kylie. And here we have Wendy Williams doing what she usually does, being a stan, a Kardashian stan, and supporting that behavior. That is ridiculous. Like, the, the manager, what the heck does the manager have to do with anything? What are you even saying? Like, like, are you even in the right state of mind? Like, th this is the thing. I don't understand why Wendy Williams is so far up the butt of the Kardashians. Every episode that she does that has a Kardashian in it, she never, ever speaks the truth. You have people that are working for you and this is how you treat them, y'all. And that speaks a lot to her character. That speaks a lot to the way that she really is. And that tells me that what she's been trying to portray on social media as being the victim or being a good person is inaccurate. This is not a sign of someone that's a good person. And it's also not a sign of someone that um, is, in, is in a healthy state of being mentally. How are you going to go see your employees and they can't even talk to you or look in your direction are you jesus I so the situation is two former employees claim that they were ordered not to look at kylie or chris jenner they say that they were degraded and they also claim that kylie never even talked to any of the factory staff while they were there so the company was launched in 2015 kylie cosmetics and this factory essentially is responsible for making kylie's cosmetics so whenever they go whenever chris jenner and kylie go apparently they order the staff workers to not even look at them which is so insane to me like who does 
who does that? I so now you own my eyes. I can't look at whatever the heck I want to look at. Is this even real right now? Especially during times where workers are always being abused. You come in, you can't even say hello. Who raised you? I don't know what the heck Wendy's talking about the manager. What the heck is the manager supposed to do about that? Right? Like, so now you want to blame the manager, some person in the shop. Who knows if there's even actually a manager? So it makes no sense to try to pass on blame when clearly these people try to make it seem like they're good people, but they're most likely not. Not if you treat your employees like second class citizens as though you don't have the same red blood flowing in your body as they do. Very humiliating. One of the people that brought first brought this to light about Kylie Jenner and her business practices, uh, her name is Irene and she's 32 years old. And during her interview, this is exactly what she said. She said, before they would come in, our supervisors would tell us, you are not allowed to talk with them. You guys are supposed to keep on working as are not allowed to take any pictures or ask any questions. The former employee added that Kylie would never talk to the staff, just watch silently as her glossy range was made right in front of her eyes, as though, you know, she, as though she were Jesus or something. So that 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 really hit home to me. I mean, people and employees are so mistreated nowadays. It's baffling. It, another former SPATS laboratory employee, Martha Molasco, who worked there from 2015 to 2017, said there were rules for staff when Kylie visited the factory. So she said in her words, supervisors would say, don't talk to them, don't even look at them. And that is what, and that is what in Martha's words, quote unquote, what she reported. And Martha Molasco is 31 years old. So she said the supervisors would say, don't talk to them, don't even look at them. Can you imagine working in such a place like that? Working in that type of a toxic environment for such toxic people? I cannot even imagine. It's to treat human beings like that, that's that just blows my mind understandably irene said that she felt degraded during her time at the company and also said that the staff were expected to complete quotas of up to 1200 products every day with no appreciation nothing that would work or help them in performing their tasks in a most effective way possible and so we kind of see the greed and the level of mistreatment in this and it's just a perfect example of of the type of world that we live in today so said and i quote this is a direct quote from her when she was doing the interview she said the supervisors i had there had been very degrading towards everybody Everything had to be perfectly made. If it wasn't, they would throw it away in your face like it was trash. If you didn't go fast enough, you were going to get fired. That is crazy to me. I, that, that This is just blowing my mind. So the former employees said that she was often left in tears after being scolded for not being fast enough on the production line. Once, she claims her supervisor threw all of her completed product products right into the trash, forcing her to start all over again. I'm again like, wow. Irene also claims that she was expected to produce the popular makeup items after she was trained for only five minutes and was verbally threatened and degraded if she asked any questions to her supervisors. This is such a toxic work environment. I, the staff were told that they could be laid off from the minimum wage job and be placed by someone else from the temp, temp agency if they were to do anything wrong. Martha also said that physical labor with her, with her health issues and pain uh, from her hands to her elbows after working 12 hour shifts from 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. while standing in the factory really, really affected her. 
on a mental health perspective as well as a physical health perspective. And Irene claimed that she worked eight hour shifts but was often pressured to come in on weekends in fear of being fired. Oh my goodness. The single mother of two, Irene, uh, said that she struggled to find childcare on the weekends but was still made to come in or she was threatened with losing her job. So Irene also claimed workers were crammed in together, especially during the pandemic. Meanwhile, Martha said that she had to ensure cold conditions in the winter and sweltering heat in the summer during those months. She had to endure through all of those things. So Irene, of course, thankfully no longer works at the factory, but she did say that she has been told by the current employees that the conditions are still the same. And online reviews from fellow disgruntled employees paint a similar picture. One of the online reviews read, People have to go through an employment agency to get a job at this place so that the company doesn't have a, pro a problem firing you if you pull or if you can't pull a 10 to 12 hour shift. HR does not care if you're a hard worker or not. If, you, if you're not part of the company, they don't care about your opinion or your concerns. Put up this huge front like everything is good. The people that I talked to didn't like the job. I mean, this place is a mess. I'm surprised it hasn't shut down. I would give this place zero stars, but that option isn't there. Another scorching review on Indeed from 2019 said, if you are looking to get minimum but work like a dog 50 hours a week on the holiday season just so you can get laid off after or get four hours a day when it it's not seasonal, then go for it. Management only wants the numbers. Former employees have also filed complaints with the California Labor Commissioner's Office. This is crazy to me, you guys. What do you guys think about this? This is why this was so insane to me. I could not believe what I was hearing, especially in 2021, because so many people this year are either thinking about quitting their jobs or have already quit their jobs. I made a video on why 40% of Americans are either thinking about quitting their jobs or have already quit their jobs. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and make sure to watch that video. I will leave the link below. So what do you think? This is exactly why. This is why people are quitting their jobs and starting to realize it's not worth it working for anyone else. Even people in the public eye that you expect or you would think are good people because that's the narrative that they put out all the time actually are not and they treat other human beings like trash because they feel like they have a lot of money and that's the way that they go about doing what they do. But this is this is crazy. This is why I believe every word of of this story is this everything that I found in regards to this story but go ahead and leave a comment below let me know what you think and again as I always caution all of you please 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 do not compare yourself to these rich people or famous people because they are not who they seem they just are not someone that you're thinking is a good person most likely is not so be careful. This is another really good example of why it's so important from a mental health perspective to be careful with what you're seeing and what you're choosing to believe is the truth. Whatever they're showing you is not the truth. It's just what they've made up and what they want you to believe is the truth, right? So now we're seeing the truth and bits and pieces of the truth come out. And which is so sad, it's terrible to see. I will talk to you guys later. Go ahead and smash that like button for me if this was at all informative, entertaining, or anything else. Go ahead and smash the subscribe button to see more content such as this one. I will talk to you guys soon. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.